video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a VHS-like distortion for your image in the GIMP picture editor. So go ahead, choose your image. I chose an image of a portrait of an owl. Go to filters, go to um, distort, go to eye warp. Go ahead and uh, choose a deform radius of 60. I'm going to uh, keep it at the deform mode of move. And I'm going to move it from the top, the middle, and the bottom. I'm then going to ch change the deform radius to 30 and move it um, in the backtrack okay and there you go I'm gonna go hit the OK button you can do it the way you like this is how I like to do it and now at this stage we want to make some um, dis uh, different types of distortions so go to a file go to new we're gonna make the same size image this is important for the displacement filter to work okay get rid of the white background uh, now with this empty um, image go to your um, go to where you keep your files give me a second pictures area so I'm gonna choose this um, image of some clouds it's important that I use clouds for the uh, right uh, distortion effect I'll say um, how about these over here like right here so alright I'm gonna choose this area I'm gonna go to layers I'm gonna go to um, uh, layer to image size and then it's just uh, now this portion left I'm gonna go to let's see what do I do from here okay we wanna apply some curves to this um, image go to layer go to um, no not layer go to filter go to distort go to uh, curve bend and then over here there's I've uh, made a sine wave only for the upper portion of the image go ahead and hit the OK button and then we're gonna transform it 90 degrees clockwise I'll wait for this to finish Voila, let's go to is it images? No, layers. Go to layers, go to transparency, no. Go to transform, go to rotate 90 degrees. There you go. Go ahead and hit uh, go to file, uh, go to export as, and I'm just gonna export it as cloud123 over here. I'm gonna go ahead and export it, replace it, that's fine. And go ahead. I'm gonna go back to my owl image and I'm gonna throw in that file that I've just made. I'm gonna go to my pictures. I'm gonna um, throw in this image I've made. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is um, make sure you have the cloud Im uh, layer selected. You want to go to filters. You want to um, go to distort. Go to waves. And we're gonna add another distortion. I have it set to 1.5 and a wavelength of 2. Let me see if that actually uh, is apparent. I think that's good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit the OK button. Now you see some waves, and that'll be important. And uh, I'm going to change, I'm going to uh, keep this layer selected, the cloud layer, and click the colors. Um, click and go to desaturate, hit the OK button, go back to colors, go to level, and move the black to the middle, the gray to the uh, middle as well. You want a nice contrast. Hit the OK button, and at this point, uh, select the owl layer and right click and go to filters go to map right over here go to displacement make sure that the cloud layer is um, selected which it is indeed and make sure that you only have uh, X displacement selected and uh, I'll hit the OK button and I'm gonna make the other one invisible and you'll see that indeed there's a nice distortion going around here see next thing I want to do is um, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this uh, layer that we use and reuse it it's pretty nice for distortions so um, I'm gonna change the mode to screen and so now we have this nice white um, blur that you usually see when the um, VH tape uh, stops playing so I'm gonna go ahead and compress it with the scale tool all the way down let's say we want some at the bottom let's say right here and scale it yes that's fine so we have some on the bottom and let's put some maybe on the top um, I'll I'll use this I'll duplicate the one the big one from before and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna have this uh, top layer selected go to layers go to transform I'm gonna go to uh, I'll go ahead and flip it 180 degrees and now I'm gonna transform it really thin like this okay go ahead and scale that 
I'm gonna select the move tool and move it to the top it doesn't look so good I want to show his face I'm, I'm oh also another thing it looks like I didn't apply the uh, blending mode go ahead to mode and select uh, soft light not soft light my bad screen there you are and I'm gonna just um, s go ahead and scooch this up a bit uh, actually another option I'm just gonna leave this here and I'm just gonna uh, choose the rectangular select tool choose the portion that I don't want and uh, delete it with the delete key on my keyboard done that looks nice now let's see what's the next thing I can do. If this is an optional choice. You can put a uh, nice gray color over here, a gray distortion. I'll show you what you mean, what I mean. So I'm gonna duplicate this one on the top, and I'm gonna move it down to the middle. Control Z. Make sure you hold the Shift key to choose the distortion that or the layer that you have selected. All right. I'm gonna move to the middle and I'm gonna squeeze it down just a bit further with the scale tool just a bit like so scale it alright now that we have it in the middle you choose instead of screen you choose saturation and it has a nice gray color which uh, contrasts and uh, is apparent in VHS tapes and the next thing uh, that is um, signature of VHS tapes is the scan lines of um, that you find when you're watching the television so to make the scan lines you go to um, file you make a new uh, image make sure the width is one let's make the height what four yes let's make it four and so you uh, uh, hold the control key on your keyboard and with the mouse wheel zoom in and then we're gonna select the rectangular uh, select tool and hit the enter key we have two of the squares selected I'm gonna choose the bucket fill tool I have the foreground color as black choose a foreground uh, foreground color fill I'll fill that up, I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna go to uh, not save as but export as and I'm gonna call, um, go to uh, my username my user folder, I'm gonna go to game point 2.8 I'm gonna go to uh, patterns over here and over here I'm gonna select this pattern I've made before a 2 pixel by 1 pixel TV scan line pattern make sure the extension is PAT and then you go ahead and hit the export button since I already have this pattern made I'm not gonna do that but once you've exported it hit the refresh button and then you'll see the new pattern appear if you uh, put an A in front of the name of the uh, name of the pattern it will ensure that it's gonna be in the beginning of all the patterns in your palette because these are organized alphabetically anyways um, over here I'm gonna um, see this owl layer. I'm gonna re uh, duplicate that owl layer. I'm gonna make this one invisible. We don't need that right now. Uh, selecting this owl layer, I'm gonna go ahead um, um, select the owl layer, hold Control A, and delete it. We don't want black, so right click the la layer, go to Add Alpha Channel again. Whoops, Control A, delete. There you go. And then instead of uh, a black foreground uh, fill. We select the pattern fill, select the uh, two uh, by one pixel uh, uh, scan lines. Um, left click, and there, is, uh, there are your scan lines. I'm going to move this to the top so it's apparent. And I'm going to make everything else visible. Now, this looks nice, but we want to make it look a little brighter. So make sure that this layer is selected, the scan lines. And then we're going to make this um, soft light right here, over here. And there you are. The next thing you want to do is go to text and uh, make sure it's OCRASTD or anything else that looks nice um, go ahead and type play make sure the text is uh, white color hit the OK key alright uh, yeah that's oh, that over there is fine I'm gonna make another one over here and I'm gonna put on the date first the timestamp which is 3 um, 18 p.m. I'm gonna make sure there's a white color right like that hit the enter key whoops make sure I have this selected hit the enter key I'm gonna type in the today's date which should be November 12 2016 I'm gonna shift uh, hold the shift key or first select the move key now hold the shift key and move this like um, right down here this is fine I'm gonna also make sure I select the play level hold the shift key move this up maybe over here that's fine so I'm gonna join these two layers together 
and to do that I'm just gonna um, make everything else invisible and I'm gonna um, right click one of the layers and merge visible layers and go ahead and merge them now that we've done that oops let me just make everything visible again I'm gonna um, select the text layer I'm going to filters go to distort and I'm gonna go to um, what is it it's waves it's waves of course and so right now it's too wavy we want it to look um, distorted but not too distorted so I'm going to decrease the amplitude and that looks about right I'm gonna I might keep it like that I'll hit the OK key and now we have a bit more distortion and uh, am I missing anything ah there is one last step this is really nice we've gone a long way but there is one more step alright so you go to layers you go to um, oh before you do this in order to do this link all these layers together go to layers go to um, where is it group copy link layers and make um make all the other layers invisible we don't need those oh I forgot one step sorry alright before we uh, go ahead and do that make sure you have the owl uh, layer selected over here now um go to colors go to um is it curve it should be curve indeed it is so um select the red channel move the red channel to be an inverse s like over here this is fine i guess yep and then uh make the green channel to be an s like so and then move the blue channel to be also an s and if it's too distinct i can change you can always change it up so this is too distinct as you can see i'm going to make the s is a bit smaller and this is just to um to match the fact that uh, analog televisions back in the day weren't like very color accurate and I'm gonna go to red and make this a bit smaller yep there you are I'm gonna go ahead and hit the OK key and there we are now for the last step I'm gonna um, uh, link all these layers together I'm gonna go to um, layers and I'm gonna just go to where did it go uh, groups I'm gonna um, uh, copy linked layers. I'm gonna make everything else invisible. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't need the waves anymore. All right. So let's see. So with these visible layers, I'm just gonna merge it into one picture. Um, merge visible layers. Merge. Now I can make everything else visible. With my new layer uh, that I've made, I'm gonna put it on the top. I'm gonna go to colors I'm gonna select curve I'm gonna select the green channel I'm gonna move this all the way in the end the idea is to get rid of the green green channel entirely like that go ahead hit, um, say the OK button hit the OK button go to mode go to value and now what you want to do with this layer is uh, choose the move uh, move tool over here and move it to the right a few pixels like so there you are I think I'll do it like this and th there you go that's it if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel I'd really support if you uh, share this video and uh, you know uh, it'll help me make more videos like this thank you and bye